Hey guys, it's Mark back with Optimize Outdoors. Uh, this isn't a fishing video, really anything about outdoors. Um, you know, we are fishermen. We have boats. We have security. We watch our boats. So this video is about the Yi home cameras. Um, I looked for ages trying to get a way to put my Yi camera system on my Fire TV. Uh, trying to get an app to go on there. There's no apps on the Fire Sticks or on the um, Fire Store for the Yi. Um, it seemed like it was basically impossible. I finally gave up, but here recently I tried it again. And I found a way to do it through another video on YouTube, and I'm just going to walk you through it real quick, kind of make it a little bit more simple. Um, and yeah, let me, let me show you how to do it. All right, first of all, you got to go to your settings. And go to your Fire TV, and this is most people already have this done for download and download or, or Cody or any of the uh, blah blah blahs. But you want your ADB bu debugging to be set to on. US debugging can be off. And then apps from unknown sources on. Um, this right here allows you to get the other app on your phone to work. Which I'll, let me get to that. Alrighty. You're going to want to go to your Play Store on your phone. And. There's going to be an app. Let me get to it. I know I'm not a very good person at making videos. I promise you this. And this, if you want your uh, thing to work on your Fire Stick, I mean, Apps to Fire. It's an application you get in the, the App Store. Um, let me go to that. Type in Apps to Fire, and it's that. First one on the top right there with the developer is by, made by Coney. Not the Garrett one. I'm not sure that one works too. But you download the app. When you go into there, it's going to ask you to connect to your Fire TV, which is going to be done like this. This is going to load all your apps on your phone. So let me just hit cancel. I don't really care for that. But you want to go to your setup and your IP address, it's going to ask you for your IP address. So you'll come to my Fire TV, type in your settings, uh, go to About, and then go to Network, and it will show you your IP address. So with that, you can uh, get on your phone, it's on the thing, type it in, hit Save, and for some reason mine was showing that it wouldn't connect. Uh, my Fire TV would pop up something and so it wouldn't connect on the Apps to Fire app, but I went ahead and tried to install it anyways and it installed onto the. So if you do come up with that, if it does come up with that error, once you type it in, still try to go to your Yi camera system on your, your phone on the Apps to Fire and install it. Like I said, that's that's basically it. Once you get done, and when you hit that one, it downloads from your phone, it takes maybe 5 10 minutes, and then you'll see the Yi app pop up here. Click on it, and then you need your mouse. So once you put your mouse in, you can click and do all the stuff you'd rather do on your phone or computer. And you can have your e camera system running on your Fire Stick. Okay, this is my Fire TV. It's boxed on the USB. And this, I mean, you don't have to have a USB port, but it really helps. Well, I mean, depending on what controllers and stuff you have that you can get in contact with, but you do need. A USB port for a USB mouse, or uh, you can get a wireless, a Bluetooth controller, or something to control. All you basically need is a uh, cursor, or it's a way to scroll across your your, your uh, screen. Like I'll, I'll show you here. We'll turn on my mouse. I keep it off because my daughter likes to play with it. Oh. And the mouse. Let's see here. This is not going to turn off. Oh, yeah, I'm being completely stupid. Uh, but let me go ahead and just show you. This is the Yi camera app on the Fire Stick. It's loading. Okay, man. Sorry, I've got kids' toys in the front yard. Uh, but there's my truck. And the mouse comes in play here because you now have a cursor. If you don't have a, if you don't have this, you're gonna, you're not gonna be able to get 
uh, uh, there's a login screen when you first get onto the app and you type in your name password but there's like a, an accept button that says hey would you accept these terms you can't click that without a mouse your regular fire tv won't let you do that so uh it shows here the screen's a little strange squashed but i mean it's once you click on the video and you full screen it, it takes a few seconds to get it the image right but it straightens out and you can turn on the sound and listen to the sound and all that stuff let me show you how to do this and uh, it's really actually really 